Mousetrap cars are a common physics class project where students are tasked with building and designing their very own mousetrap car. They can either go the fastest or farthest. Here's how we built ours. So, Nizar, what do you think we should do for this car? Uh, I don't know. I kind of blundered a bit earlier, but I'm sure. How are we going to build this car? We're going to use the items that we wrote down on this list to truly uh, use up all of our resources. And those are the resources that we're going to use again. And they broke something. So what exactly are we going to use? We'll use paint sticks, clothes hangers, straws, skewers, CDs, super glue, and balloons. We had a few objectives in mind while planning our mousetrap car. The first one was to use CD wheels with balloons to increase traction, but we wouldn't use balloons on the front wheels, and we'll get to that later. Another thing we did was use paint sticks for the body, since they're rigid and somewhat lightweight, but we'll talk about the weight some other time. The last thing we did was get as long as an arm as possible for our car. This was to maximize the mechanical advantage we could get out of our one mousetrap. Hippos are heavy, and they still run really, really quick. So they have a lot of muscles. This has a lot of muscle. So I got one muscle. Behind the wheel, so we have to like do the front glue or super glue. Okay, it's super glue. Okay, thank you for your information. So now on to the calculations for our mouse track car. We'll start with the mechanical advantage for the lever arm. This is calculated by doing the distance in over the distance out. As you can see, we got a mechanical advantage of about 0.071. Next up is the mechanical advantage for our axle. This was calculated about the same way with distance in over distance out. And we got a mechanical advantage of 0.05. Now we did try to maximize these as much as possible to get the best and longest car. Next up, we'll go over how it worked. As you probably know already, our car was only powered by one singular mousetrap, so we had to make the most of it. We would start by winding a string around our front axle. You can notice that the CDs are covered in balloons. However, the back wheels are not. This was so the front wheels, which had the string attached, would put down as much power as they could, and the back wheels would be as frictionless as possible. The string was then attached to a lever, which was attached to our mousetrap. As the spring let go of tension, the lever would let go of the string and unwind it around the wheel, causing the car to go. As you can see, this car was definitely a distance car, and it did pretty good. Thank you guys all for watching our video, and there you go.